Decal Machine 2.4 introduces a few convenience features relating to decal creation. If you create info decals from images, you can now determine the final decal name ahead of time, simply by naming your source images accordingly. I just load these images as I normally would. I've taken them from 22's excellent new decal pack and have then just named the image files in the file browser. You can see the names here again. Each decal created from these images will now internally store the source image's file name. And when adding decals to a library, you will now be given the option to recall the original image's names. Also new is the option to skip the index, which decal machine previously always added as a prefix. Skipping the index is then also possible when using a custom name. But note that this can produce conflicts. You will be warned about this, and if you continue anyway, then conflicting decals will simply not be added to the library. As you can see, all of these decals are now named just like the original source files. It's also worth mentioning here, that naming decals was always trivial. Just name the individual decal folders in your libraries, however you want. With or without index, it doesn't matter. Indices are great for sorting though. Here is another conflict you may run into, if you skip the indices. Decals using these names exist already in the chosen library and so none of the colliding decals will actually be added, unless you use the prefixes. There is another addition in 2.4, but for subset decals as well as panel decals using subsets. Normally, the subset parts are stored with the same default metallic appearance as the outer part of the normal map decal. In version 2.4 you can now optionally store a matched subset component directly in the final decal asset file. You can see how the thumbnail already reflects the subset material. Alternatively, you can also just manually match the subset component, or directly edit it in the shader editor. Then just ensure storing subsets is enabled and add the decals to a library. 